There's a Japanese artist that goes by the name of Gaku, and his Instagram handle is Gaku 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 One, and it's taking the internet by storm. Mm -hmm. uh, he's um, carving these really intricate, detailed symbols inside of fruits and vegetables, and people are freaking out. Now, this is a long-standing Japanese tradition called mukimono, but People are having a very weird reaction to it. And I just wanted to show you a couple of them, Grace, and mm -hmm. see if you're one of those people that has a very weird reaction to it. Okay. So let's take a look at some of these images, okay? First of all, this is pretty cool. How? How do you do that? I don't it's like a it. sheet of paper. He just oh. like took off the, the core and cut it out. But then you have classic ones like this one. So these, uh, the designs that I have seen of his with on fruits and vegetables sort of remind me of tattoos. They sort of remind, I know, but they do, rem don't they remind you of like a I'm tattoo leaving. thing? It's, it's, you can't you imagine that being on someone's arm? No, you keep, you keep going. Tell us more about how these are tattoos. I will. Okay, so look at, I think this is a coconut. <laughs> this coconut could totally be a tattoo. Not everything's a tattoo, Grace. Yeah, but it should be though. Not everything is an opportunity for look you to plug. Look at this Benoni. Look at this! Look at this banoni. What is this? Look at the banoni! It's a banana! But that looks like, I call them banonis. What? It, because, I don't know. Be what? Cra be crazy, live life on your own terms, make up oh a new word. Oh god, um, a banoni. I, I have, I call, I call lesbians lesbies. <sighs> Not like that. <laughs> Not um, like this. <laughs> Not like this. But don't you think they could be like, they're, it's, they look like beautiful designs. They don't necessarily look appetizing. But so you don't like have a creepy or terrifying visceral reaction to no, what you're seeing? not at all. Okay, neither do I. I thought it was really cool. I don't really know why people are freaking the F out about these food carvings. They think it's creepy? People are, yeah. People are just like, I wanna set it all on fire. This triggers my trifophobia. Um, I suggest you, uh, sorry, like this makes me wanna vomit. I don't know why. I mean, they're delicate. I, my favorite one is uh, I want to. I want to. It takes a hit of acid once, and then it's just like a photo of the broccoli, and that's funny because yeah, it's like super detailed. Mm -hmm. And I have big meaty fingers, you so do. I I always think like like how would I be able to carve such detailed, precise um, you know shapes and designs mm -hmm. inside of something as small as a broccoli floret? As a how broccoli. do you do it? How do you do it? Well, it takes a lot of patience, that's for sure. Yeah. And I, I certainly think that this qualifies um, as an artistic vision. It's it's more than just sort of you know cutting shapes into fruits and vegetables. Absolutely. And by the way, um, this goes back. Uh, surprise, surprise. This is an ancient Japanese art. Is a traditional Japanese mm -hmm. art of carving. Is fruit carving. And by the way. I have a feeling we're gonna get so many comments below being like, we knew, like you guys are just discovering this. Uh, also, by the way, yeah, of course, um, this goes without saying that we already have a mukimono artist in the studio right now. Who? Right now, he's sitting in the control room. Oh, Jacori? His name is Jacori motherfucking Palmer. Wow, I didn't know that. No relation to Arnold Palmer. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he makes, have you seen his stuff? No. He makes fruit carvings all the time. So is it is it disrespectful to eat the fruit carvings? Like, what is the etiquette surrounding? Corey, can you can you get in on this? Can you can you weigh in on this? Do you have uh, access to a microphone? We're yeah we're yeah causing so, a commotion in the control. So room. yeah, I do make fruit it's art. A wild Tuesday morning. I know we're just fucking. I'm just yeah. Can you hear me? Just doing crazy test, shit. Test test. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, we can a little hear you. bit. We can hear you a little bit, but Asher, does it come off in the? Is it going to come across in the? Yeah, yeah. How about that? All right. How about that? This sounds great. All right, cool, Corey. Cool. So, give fruit us art etiquette. Yeah. So, so wait, I can't wait, wait. speak for everyone, but personally, I do it strictly for, for smiles. Like I just do it to make people smile. So, however that makes you smile, whether it's just looking at it and walking away, whether it's eating it, whether it's like Jr. does stabbing a fork through its chest, whatever makes you smile, man. Oh my gosh. It was beautiful. Um, Definitely feel, felt like the voice of God was telling us about Mukimono. Yeah, I mean, they're really cool ones too. It's just specifically this one is getting this like gut reaction from people because it's so detailed. And the ones that Jacori does do make me smile because mm -hmm. um, he'll make like a little little swan or just like little animal shapes, little faces. Oh wow. And it's great and it does, I mean, I hate fruits and vegetables. I mean, I like vegetables, I eat broccoli a lot, but I hate eating fruit with the exception of pineapple. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. These are weird things that I'm telling you about myself that I feel like you didn't know already. Yep. But um, yeah, so I, I enjoy looking at fruit. Okay, fun vegetable fact. Uh, what? Let's just let's just take this in a different direction. I wanted to I want to ask you. Before kale had this massive superfood boom that it's experiencing currently, where everyone's like, "Oh, I need to put kale in everything." Blah, that's crazy. Everyone's like that. There was only yeah. I mean, come on. We mm -hmm. live in Los Angeles. Like, I'm not talking about coal miners in Virginia, but like the bicoastal elite love kale by and large. We know this. They can't get enough of kale. They want to pee green if they could because of kale. Okay. Um, and beets. All but right. But kale for the most part. Okay. Before. Kale got experienced what it's experiencing currently, having its hate. Viral in. internet sensation kale. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there was only one pizza parlor, not pizza parlor, pizza chain, uh, Pizza Hut, that was the largest single buyer of kale. I know why. Oh, you already know this. Well, yeah, because I've seen it. it, it they used it to sort of fluff up the salad bar to make it look. Yes. Nice. I know, I, that's why, mm -hmm. that's precisely why. That was a fun little fact that had nothing to do with fruit carving, but we wanna hear from you guys. Did you know that mukimono was a ancient traditional Japanese art? Uh, how do you feel about it? Do you have a weird reaction to it like the internet has, is experiencing How currently? do you feel about kale? Leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'm Asan Biker, this is Grace Baldridge, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.